Hello everyone, Silver Contrail here, and today we're playing more Resident Rise. It's been a little bit. I haven't been playing a whole lot lately, but the little bit that I have been playing, I've been doing some updates around the base, some much needed improvements, and making things basically look a lot nicer. Uh, although there's still much to be done, so that's pretty much what I want to spend the episode on, touching up some of the stuff around the base uh, to make things look better. There's so much sand and other things around the base of dirt because I built so close to the surface. It's just a pain. Um, but thankfully we've got some cool tools to make that pretty easy and I just want to kind of do some upkeep and making things look nice. So the first thing you might notice around here is the cobblestone and this is chisel cobblestone from the chisel mod. And the chisel mod is based around the, as you might expect, the chisel. It's really cool if you right click it it opens up this UI so you can carve different blocks. So if I put a block in here like marble, I get all these different options for carving marble. I guess over here too. So I get these guys and I get these guys. Pretty cool. Let's see. Marble. Oh, that's cool. Neat. So yeah, you can make a lot of different things in here. It's pretty handy. Go ahead and recycle those, because I'm not going to use them. Uh, these are some more chisel blocks. These are cobblestone with a dark panel, I believe. If I can mine it. There we go. Cobblestone with a dark panel. And this is the cobblestone, I believe the cobblestone, huge cobblestone tiles. Yeah. And that's what I made the ceiling of the base out of. I just kind of went around with a wand of equal trade and just replaced a lot of the dirt that was up here with the cobblestone, and I think it looks a lot nicer already. Still needs to be touched up, there's a lot of random spots. But overall I think it's a good improvement. Not too bad. Uh, definitely the walls, you know, these still need to be completed basically. And if I, let's see, this goes here. Oh, then this all needs to become stone brick, so I could actually do that right now if I wanted to. Change these guys into stone brick. This needs to go up, and I don't have any more stone brick. I am oh jeez. When I when I switch with the wand focus, I press F, and that switches out the wand focus that I have in my focus pouch. But it turns off my jetpack too. So a lot of times I'll be you know, switching my focus, and then I'll accidentally not turn on my jetpack, and then I'll fall to the bottom of my base which used to be a big problem in the past. I would go on servers and I'd build bases inside of giant quarries and I would either not have my jetpack on or something and I would just jump off the edge and I would fall to my death. And it was always a pain every time I did that. Anyways, yeah, so a couple of different things we want to do. Um, you can see I did some improvements down here uh, with uh, the stone brick walls and this is all going to be redone. These two sides definitely need to be done still. So. Uh, this is sort of a work in progress, and this is, I guess, the final version of what it's going to look like with a big opening in here. This will be a room. Uh, these chandeliers, being, uh, these are from Extra Utilities. They're part of making the Magnum Torch, but I like how they look normally, so I might keep them in here, just have them in here. Uh, and, yeah, I think they provide some decent lighting. I think they have other effects, but I don't know what they are. I'd have to double check. And yeah, this is going to be, I think this is going to be my Gendistry room. This is where I'm going to do all my beekeeping and the automation for that. Um, but I'm not sure. I think I'll go a couple higher on the ceiling. I just used a filler in here, the Buildcraft filler, and I fillered out most of this. And then I've got the same pavestone bricks that I have up here, which are from Mine Factory Reloaded. And then these are all the, the Railcraft Quarried blocks, which I really like. And I used a lot in my last, my last Let's Play. And yeah, I think it'll look nice when it's all done down here. But it's a little ways away from that. Um, I want to get this room done before I do much of anything else. So yeah, that's, that's the next goal, getting this room done. Um, as far as how high I want the ceiling, because if I put a floor here, I'm only going to have it... It's only going to be this high, and I'm not sure if I want it to go higher than that. Uh, the issue I do run into with height is I can't go too high. This is actually the stairway to my light nexus, and I kind of want to keep that because I think it looks cool. 
even though it, you know, I had to make a second one. Uh, I had to make this one up here because I needed one that was close by. And I never did fix that, did I? Oh well. Uh, and I, yeah, I needed one close by, and it kind of makes this one irrelevant. But I like I like this room. I don't know. Maybe I'll take it out. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I want to get some some different blocks, try out some different stuff on the flooring, and see what that looks like. And maybe raise the ceiling a bit more, because I'm not sure if I want to make this only... What is this, 5 high, I think? Oh no, it's 4 high. Yeah, this is 4 high. I think if I went 5 high, I'd be okay with that. And with the, uh, the cobblestone for the ceiling, stone brick walls, and then... I want to put some sort of wood down on the floor, but I don't know what. Maybe maybe do a, a wood ceiling and a wood floor as well, and, and keep the cobblestone, or the, the stone brick walls. I think that might be cool. Some sort of wood, and we can look at those sorts of wood different things here in a second, as soon as I get up here. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, I've got wood on me. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, so chisel can also chisel some wood planks, and we can see there's different sorts of wood planks in here. I've got wood, regular wood planks, um, smooth wood planks, sort of a, a brick pattern almost, vertical oak wood planks, uneven, uh, yeah, different arrangements, stuff that looks like scaffolding. Uh, I, I think there's a lot of cool options here, but I need one, I definitely need one for the flooring. And I could do all sorts of different stuff here, let's see. Let's try a couple of different ones, I guess. Let's see what this looks like. And this. Oh, get out of here. And... Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe this one? Let's give this a shot. So... as opposed to regular wood planks. So it's a little bit smoother. And then you've got the, almost the brick pattern. And then you've got these guys. These guys don't look like they'd be good for the flooring. Maybe, maybe at certain points. So I already don't like that. I think I like this one the most, the flat wood plank, or the, the smooth ones. Let's make more of those. Let's see what this looks like. Um, look over here. Hmm, this is already pretty interesting. Okay, it's definitely different. Like I can, I can, it, it's sort of the same. You know, when you look at it normally, it kind of reminds you of the regular wood plank, but it's just a little bit less busy, and it definitely gives it more of a construction feel. Like it's something you'd actually use. I don't know, I don't mind it that much. I think it'd be kind of neat. Maybe I'll make a bunch of these, and I'll layer over the floor. I still have to raise the ceiling if I'm going to do that. No, I think I'll be okay. I can use the wand. Uh, and yeah, Or no, I can't use the wand, because I need to go up one. Ooh, I may have to get the filler. Okay, so this has got to go at some point. <laughs> I've had this here for so long. It's finally gone. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so definitely still the cobblestone. Well, maybe not. I was thinking about using the tile cobblestone for the ceiling, but I think maybe a different sort of wood would be a bit better. All right, what do we got? There's some birch wood as well. We can check that out. This actually might be really cool. It's probably going to give the same patterns, just lighter color. Yep. Not surprised there. Uh, let's see. These might be interesting. This might make a. This might make for an interesting ceiling. Hmm. 
Hmm, I could maybe see that, but that the dominant line down the middle is really strong. I don't know if I could... I don't know how that would look if I did the whole ceiling like that. I don't even think I have enough. Well, I could I could plant them. I have the hoe of growth. Uh, I guess I'll get a bunch of different types of wood, and I'll finish up down there with the filler, and then we can... Uh, actually create the ceiling very quickly with the filler and demolish it and keep replacing it back and forth uh, pretty quick so we can change out different styles and take a look at them so I will get that ready and I'll be back and of course it's raining when I come back such fun such enjoyableness many many rain anyways I ended up putting down uh, everything uh, flushing out the room uh, basically because when I placed this stuff down, I really liked it, and I decided to go ahead and keep it. This is the uh, Birchwood Parquet, which I don't know if that's a real word. I assume it is. We'll go with that. But yeah, this is basically the floor. Uh, I went ahead and dug under here, too, because this is the next thing we need to accomplish. Uh, so we've got, of course, the, the top floor and then the basement. So in the basement, we have to wire everything, and that means wiring my Emmy system and the power system. Uh, because the Emmy system is going to be able to draw all the items around, the power system is necessary to power all the things in here. So the good thing about power is it's really easy to move around with Tesseracts. The bad thing about items is you can't really do that if you have them stored in a network of some sort. Um, some sort of item sorting system. It's kind of hard to move items around unless you physically wire them which is what I intend to do once I think of the best way to do it. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and dig this way. Okay, where is the center? Where is the center? Is it here? Okay, it's right, it's right, This. it's this line, okay. That's what I need, I need to know where the center is. So that's gonna be this guy right here, okay. And we're going to go ahead and dig straight back this way. Should be right underneath all of the marble, or the quarry blocks, actually. And there we are. Okay, uh, this down here is another... Let's see if I can get in there. There we go. Uh, there's another little tunnel I dug, and I'm going to wire my ME system to this. So this should be enough to get there, I hope. So we'll go like this and then we're gonna want to go up I think we could go up yep up a couple of blocks so right here and go ahead and take the rest of this out let's see bring it if I bring it all the way into here this corner will be close enough I don't know exactly where I want to take it, but this should be this should be far enough. Okay, Emmy system is here, uh, approximately wherever here is. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put any of my access ports or anything. Probably not in this corner because this is where my doors are going to go. So I'll probably push it. It'll probably be maybe along this wall. Oh, jeez. It's thunderstorming out here? Oh, it's lighting trees on fire. You know what? We're gonna go ahead. I'm wondering if this is a uh, flux induced. Oh boy, I got lots of trees on fire. Ow! Stop it! Stop it! No. Ow, 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 ow. Well, that was surprising. I haven't seen a thunderstorm in Minecraft in a long time. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, the damage seems to be gone. Or finished. So back in here, let's see. 
Uh, yeah, so the next step is... Okay, I guess we still have thunder going on. Now I'm worried that my whole base is going to burn down. Actually, my base is made out of stone, so that's kind of unlikely. Okay. Yeah, so now I think I think I might change these as, as lighting options at some point, but I'll leave them as is for the moment. And yeah, that's really getting annoying. So I'm going to down my sound more. I don't know how loud that is for you guys, but it's very loud for me. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to put all the Gendistry stuff in here, which I guess we can talk about now, uh, since I got some stuff set up and I got some stuff wired. Uh, I thought I was going to spend the whole episode doing that, but let's let's look at some Gendistry things. Okay, so, bees. I'm out here in the wilderness because I'm looking for different sorts of bees, and I don't really have that many, and I need a certain... A couple of them in particular that I really want to get. Oh, there's one. That's one of them. The Meadows Hive, which is going to have Pristine Meadows Princess. Excellent. And Honeycomb. Good. Uh, and I want to look around for more of these... More, more of these bees. Okay, check this out. This is important. Little PSA for everyone here. This is uh, sort of a glitch... I guess not sort of, it is a glitch that occurs predominantly with mod packs of this sort, and it's something that I have noticed more than a few times in the past. This sort of glitch has completely ruined worlds that I've had, um, depending on where it appears. And you can see there's this really out of place single chunk. I think they're all 16 by 16, so it's, a, it's just one chunk that is... <laughs> seemingly newly generated. Uh, this used to be part of the forest. It is now a volcano biome. This is ash stone from Biomes of Plenty. Uh, this was regenerated recently. So it generated the first time when I loaded the world, when I came in here, uh, but recently it has regenerated once again, and it's overridden all of the blocks that were already in here. This can be a really big issue if you built in this area. So imagine that all your machines and all your chests were stored in this chunk. They're gone, if they were. Uh, I've had that happen before. My entire ME system was replaced uh, when a chunk reset. So these chunk resets are a really big issue. Uh, I know that Portal Gun can cause them, so you got to be careful with those. And, yeah, it's just it's a really big pain. There's another one, actually, down that way um, that I remember seeing earlier. Uh, this is another reason why you should always make a backup, because these things can happen without any warning at all. And it's a huge pain. Um, but actually, I want to see what these things... Ash stone. Can we do anything with this? Can we use it? Oh, we can create facades. Yeah, that's whatever. Okay. Anyways, back to looking for bees. Just want to make sure you guys know about that, if you're not already familiar. Hopefully you haven't had that happen to you before. But it's like, it's one of those glitches that once it happens to you one time, you always make a backup. It's just one of those things... Not really seeing a whole lot of hives. And I think I've kind of glanced over this area before and I've never found any hives. But I did it only a really quick run through. This is a vanilla forest biome. Should be able to find Tiger Wood. Should be able to find at least a couple of hives. Oh here we go. Don't be a magic hive. Oh you're a magic hive. Oh you're a curious hive. Yeah, I've got a bunch of these. Uh, they spawn really heavily in the magic biomes, which I happen to live in one. And we'll see if there's anything else. Don't really see anything. This is kind of depressing. Not a whole lot of bees, just like a bunch of curious bees. Hmm. Too bad, too bad. Well, we got one meadow, so that's okay. Maybe we can make this work. I don't know. Yeah, here's that other chunk reset. This is a savanna biome in the middle of a forest. And you can see very clearly where it was cut out. So a really unfortunate glitch that is way too prevalent. I hope it gets fixed. But we'll find out. 
Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and head back, I guess. Yeah, there's a bunch of... Oh, wait. You're a forest hive. Excellent. It's like right next to my base, too. Wow, I think I always assumed that that was uh, another curious hive. Okay, cool. We got everything. Um, at least initially. Uh, there's a lot of other different sort of things we can grab. So this is the entire stock of bees that I have. Uh, the first thing I want to do is run through these ignobles and sort of sort them out if I can. These are pristine. Okay, you are ignoble, ignoble. So po supposedly these guys, you don't want them. I really don't want to use them for breeding. Oh, dang it, my forest princess is ignoble. Dang it. Pristine, 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 ignoble. Infernal princess. Infernal princess. Oh, my meadows princess, too. Oh, good, I have another one. Excellent. Excellent. Ignoble. 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 And these should all be pristine, so these should all be ignoble. Okay, good. Uh, with this in mind, these guys, I think I can't really use them. Because with ignoble, ignoble, I'm saying ignoble, it's probably ignoble. Uh, I can't use them for too many generations or they're going to die off. So this is probably going to be my starting batch. Lots of rocky princesses, which is okay when we get to the genetics part. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to need to make all of the gendistry items. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with gendistry, you can definitely check out my mod tutorial on it. I did that a couple of videos ago. Gendistry. And for most of this stuff, I'm going to need... Or is the industry apiary? Yep, I'm going to need bronze. So lots and lots of bronze. The best way... You can create... Okay, and Tinker's Construct. That's not really something I want to do. How about basic components? Nope, can't make that. Industrial craft bronze. How do you make industrial craft bronze? You need to smelt bronze dust. Or... Okay, bronze dust. Which is made using tin dust, copper dust. Okay, I think we can make this. So we need copper, dust, and tin dust. Three copper and tin. Now I had I had a recipe to make bronze for a while and then it stopped working on me. But maybe we can make one a blank pattern. Clear. Okay, can I make copper dust? I can, from mechanism. But I think it'll auto get exported out into one of these guys if I do that. Yeah, it looks like that's what's happening. Looks like it's getting auto exported out. Because I'm pretty sure if you grab one of these and you throw it on a crusher, it's going to turn this into dust. But when the system imports it, it's going to automatically get sent into one of these two. Yeah, it looks like this guy wants the copper dust. But I should still be able to... Copper... Oh wait, there it is. It's right there. As long as it's the industrial craft copper dust, and not the mechanism copper dust, it'll keep it. Hmm, interesting. Now I wonder if the other ones, say the metallurgy or the mechanism copper, will give me the same dust. So we'll find out, I guess. Okay, this one gives me the mechanism dust. And this one, the metallurgy, what will you give me? Another mechanism dust? Yeah, mechanism. But the other, strictly the industrial craft copper is going to give me the other one. So we've got metallurgy copper, mechanism copper. Hmm, decisions. And then there's tin to worry about. Of course, we can make tin dust. The second you make that, it's going to get exported out and into a furnace, and it's going to get smelted. We've got tin dust right here. Yep, the metallurgy tin dust. 
gets thrown into one of these guys. Oh, yep, there's the ingot. So, with this we might be able to... Some... This is, an, this is an interesting one. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Where you can have a recipe like this. Where it needs to crush an ore, turn it into the dust, and then not export it again. But sometimes it really doesn't want to do that either. It's a very, it's a very sensitive recipe. Next. Next. There's some change recipes here that I gotta fix still. And let's go, well, it's really a forestry. Okay, so bronze, let's see if it will craft it. Okay, it's crafting tin dust. I'm wondering if it will, yeah, it's just eating them again. So it's not, it's not getting them in time, which means, which means I'm in for a struggle. I mean, I if I if I want to make bronze all the time, I can do it. I just have to turn off my automation here, and I really don't want to do that just because I like having the automation. But I mean, I I guess the easiest way to do it would be to turn off the tin and the copper exporting, and then just say, hey, make make the bronze dust. And it should be able to do this now with no problem. Missing materials, tin dust. Why can't you make tin dust? Oh, it doesn't know how to make tin dust, does it? It only knows how to make the mechanism tin dust. So that's the problem. Okay, let me fix this. Okay, so it looks like I got bronze production up and running. It's making the bronze dust. I had to fix some stuff with my ore dictionary, and it seems to be working now. Pretty cool. Uh, as far as this goes, you know, I'll go ahead and, like, auto-process some sort of smelting for this. So I can throw these guys in here and get out the bronze ingots. We'll see what these look like. Yep, just industrial craft, two bronze ingots. Pretty handy. We can turn these into all of the components for gendistry. Everything from you know, the bronze gears to the sturdy casings. Yeah, lots of cool stuff. Uh, we'll do more of that next time and really get into some bee breeding. Pretty excited for it. Anyways, thank you for watching, and until next time, then.